Well, our next guest talent has helped him be named one of the best up and coming designers in the country. Yeah, lives right here in East Tennessee. The latest edition, as you can see, of House Beautiful Magazine names the next wave of designers. And among them, an East Tennessean, Todd Richardson, was picked as one to watch in the magazine on sale now. So run, grab that thing. And uh, that's pretty unique. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank big you. stuff. Yeah, it was exciting and it, a real honor to be among the designers that were also the other designers that were chosen. How were you chosen? Was I had submitted application some. It w there was not an application. I had submitted photographs of my work to mm -hmm. House Beautiful uh, just to kind of show them what I've been working on and doing. Yeah. And uh, in the process of that, a couple of months ago, I, I got a, a packet in the mail telling me that I had been selected for uh, one of the top 20 next wave. Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. All right, and you have some some kind of practical ways of decorating things that are already in the house. Right, I'm a big fan at Christmas time of, of using things that you already have and not putting away your everyday household decorations, uh, but enhancing them for Christmas. And okay. a couple of things that I've done here, uh, it's real easy to do a bowl with ornaments and everybody has a few extra ornaments that are left over from doing their Christmas tree or even ones that could be broken on the top or missing the hanger. A uh, bowl is a great way to do that. Just kind of tuck them in, add a few sprigs of greenery, and you've got a wonderful centerpiece or decoration. It could be great on a cocktail table, could be great on a lamp table, wherever you want to do it. Another thing that's really simple is to do the uh, bowl with just greenery and maybe a candle in the center, but just be sure that the greenery is lower than the candle and uh, a candle in a glass container obviously works yeah. best. And also a, a simple bow can yes. really dress things up. Exactly, and this is a, a Again, an idea where you can use something that you already have in your in your house, and everybody has lamps, so uh, you can you can use the bow at the top like this, or depending on where it is in the room, you might use a piece of garland at the bottom, and uh, move the bow to the bottom and just kind of straighten out the ribbons. It's very simple and easy to do. Now, how hard is it to tie that bow? It's not it's not difficult at all. I always use um, ribbon that has a wired edge. Okay. And uh, it's very simple. If you, if you do that, you don't have to worry about, if you do the ribbon that has a wired edge, you don't have to worry about um, keeping the ribbon necessarily straight. Okay. So just about anybody can do it. And um, all you have to do is just gather your lengths of ribbon, make two loops, use your chenille stem to uh, twist it off. And I know this looks a little, a little crooked right now, but the wired ribbon, see, all, all you have to do is just straighten it out. It's very, very cool. easy to Boy, do. That does look pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, it's really easy to do. And um, if you if you run multiple ribbons together, I think the effect is always really pretty. It's a little more interesting than just one ribbon would be. Okay. Very cool. Well, now, where can folks, I think your design business is actually based out of Knoxville? Yes, that's correct. My design business is here in Knoxville, and we have uh, an antique and gift store in, in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Okay. And lots of these ribbons could be available, are available at Bobby Todd. That's our retail store in Sweetwater. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate it. We really it. appreciate it. Thanks. Well, coming up, LaSonda Brown.